very hard to do an interview when uh, I've heard so much amazing things you say you were involved in. Um, so I guess the first thing is, why don't you give us the 60-second, uh, your journey through spooks, fame, and uh, crime, I guess. <laughs> That's good. That's well, right. well said. Well, right. well said. Well said. Yeah. Really, really well said. It, 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 I, it started out in the electronic countermeasures business, and I got involved to that, and I sold the first system I had to the State Department in the White House, and the next thing I know, I was resident James Bond. Resident what? James Bond. Resident what do you mean? James Bond. I was considered a, a sort of a, um, enfant, enfant terrible. Terri what year are we talking about? Terrible of the intelligence community because of my skills in electronic wiretapping and counter wiretapping. Really? So tell me, um, where did you learn to wiretap and create this stuff? When did we? When did you first start doing the planning stuff? Dude, it was legal up until 1968 when they passed these bloody privacy laws oh, that, really? we, 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 that bullshit tore our country to pieces with a thing called Watergate that are totally bogus. I mean, we, we, we live in a, an illusion, a horrible illusion. Watergate was a farce of farces. But tell me a little bit about your, your, your first days walking to the White House. What, what did you understand your job was going to be? Who were you working for? What agency? In, in what year? Uh, what in, year? In year? 1966. Who was president? President Johnson. And you were working for who? President Johnson. And under the auspices of what agency? State Department. State Department. Office of Security and Intelligence. How did you get that job? Because I demonstrated a system that made it impossible for a bug to work in its presence. Really? It, yeah, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, effectively about a 2,000 watt audio uh, amplifier that was amplifying out a square wave signal into a three conductor loop that was about 120 foot, so it knocked off 120 foot area. That loop, that 120 foot diameter loop would knock off, I don't know, maybe. 300, 400 square feet of area. Who, who paid you to develop that? The White House. But you said you showed Chief it to them. You said you Chief showed it to them, and that's how you got Chief the job. Chief of staff. So, Chief of no, staff. Matt, but you had it before you got the job, you said, at the White House. So who? But I, I created it. The, the system was my design. Were you always into electronics since yeah. you were a kid? Yeah. What did you do as a kid? Did you play the truck electronics a lot? Yeah, I played with walkie talkies and model airplanes. Did you ever set model airplanes on fire? Yes. Yeah. Neil Armstrong used to do that, I heard, yeah. believe it or not. Um, did you ever put walkie-talkies on model airplanes? Yeah. But, you know, so, we, so let's we, get back we, to the White we, House. You walk in, it's the first day of the Johnson. You're all excited, right? What, what would you have liked to accomplish there? What was your goal? To measuring off the area of the inside of the Oval Office to sort of install Checkmate. Checkmate being the anti-bugging device. And uh, when you were there... Um, Obviously, you did a good job, so it led to? Led to them asking me if I would work for them on an intelligence basis in the JFK investigation having to do with the cover-up of the assassination. And who asked you to uh, get involved with that? The Chief of Staff of the President of the United States, Walter Jenkins. And uh, why were they interested in the assassination. I, I, was it in Johnson's interest, really? Did well, I it? was also approached by uh, by uh, Senator Kennedy's office to, to the form of Walter Sheridan, who was the chief with the FBI guy who put Hoffa away. And uh, uh, they wanted me to run a counterintelligence operation on Garrison because I already had an inside track. and. They had figured out that I could be used as a as a, the, the perfect double agent for a while, and it worked. So I, I became Garrison's chief of security until I caught him faking all the evidence, and I buried him. That's the way it happened. So That's, who got you the job as Garrison's? Uh, Willard E. Robertson, the, his chief backer, the Volkswagen distributor in New Orleans. Very close friend since I was a kid. What did you think about Garrison? I, I, I would have to say from first blush was that he was a political opportunist who would not think twice about framing his mother to make a case. It's some of substance. Huh. Now, what, what did you uncover? 
that, that, he, that, that when I was his chief of security, I uncovered the fact that he was fabricating evidence that he was typing up on a typewriter that he had seized uh, from Clay Shaw, and he was writing letters to Oswald, blaming Clay Shaw for him faking, creating a conspiracy that never happened. What was his motivation, in your opinion? Be God. I mean, he was, uh, the guy had, uh, I mean, he and I used to discuss how we were going to set a stepping stone the, the Kennedy assassination investigation into the White House. Political ambition? Sure, why not? Did you have political ambition? Sure, why not? You don't seem like a political ambitious type to me. I have been. I, 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 would, I would say that the, 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 the Political ambition I have is a simple uh, Alexander the Great viewpoint. Of it. it's, it's my oyster. If I can figure out how to rule it, I'm going to do it. If I can create a revolution that makes the planet into a utopia and it fucks up everything that, that's considered hallowed by the current <laughs> administrators, but I can pull it off without killing anybody, let's do it. Let's go back to Garrison then. Cause so you're, um, how long did you work at the White House before you went to Texas to work on the case? Before I went to New Orleans to work. New Orleans. Probably uh, three months. At the White House. Mm -hmm. What other operations did you uh, do at the White House? N nothing that had anything to do with anything other than checkmate. Checkmate and double check. It we had a, we had another operation having to do with the sale of intelligence equipment to the boys in the White House that I had designed. And so then you went to Texas, mm -hmm. um, New Orleans, right? New Orleans, rather. Right. Um, well, tell us who killed Kennedy. My opinion. Yeah. It's, everybody's it's like you know it's like assholes. Everybody's got one. It was probably orchestrated from the very top by. David Rockefeller and Henry Kissinger. And they probably did it for many, many reasons, but the primary reason was to prevent prevent the macroeconomic, socioeconomic, and geopolitical revolution that comes with the release of free energy and time control. Um, time control? <laughs> Yeah, UFOs are flying time machines. Jack agrees with me on that. Yeah, I agree on So, wait, 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 uh, many Kennedy was things. on the verge of then what? In he Releasing the Roswell information and, what it, and where it, what it portended, which meant there were little bodies. Little bodies. Like Colonel Corso, like Phil Corso. Like Phil Corso what what proof do you have that um, Roswell really happened? What, what, what do you know personally? Empirical that, evidence says it's fucking got to be. Well, I want to know what, I want to know what you saw and you heard. And, and that I have never saw or heard anything about Roswell. I associate with Paul Price, who's on my team, and he's a, a vortex physicist type out of Roswell. And, uh, uh, but not, and other than the lady who runs a museum over there, I don't know too many people in Roswell. Um, Let's get back to the evidence you feel that points to Kissinger um, and Rockefeller. What did you see that led you to come to this conclusion? What is your personal eyewitness knowledge of that? I would, I, I, that, that, that would have to be broken up into a couple of answers to that. And Paul Samuels is one of them, and the other one's uh, uh, Brzezinski, and the other one's Henry himself, because we've, we've, tried, whenever we attempted to establish a dialogue with Henry, uh, in spite of who the intermediaries were, i.e. Bob Sheen, uh, that uh, Henry would tilt immediately in favor of whatever the intelligence apparatus of Majestic 12 wants to do, which confronted with the problem of Gordon Novell, it's just try to fucking intimidate him and fucking Run a mind fuck on him. See if you can't get him to break down. Yeah. But I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I, you're, you we're sitting here. We're talking about you worked for Garrison because yeah. you felt he was monkeying up the investigation. It was bullshit. It was a bogus prosecution. It was a political prosecution. 
I mean, it's classic Napoleonic code, I accuse. DA can write a bill of information, don't need a grand jury. You're, you're indicted. Did you see the faking of the letters yourself? Yes. You witnessed yes. the letters being yeah. faked? Pull them out of the garbage can after you typed them. The, um... You think MJ-12 had something to do with the fact that Kennedy was killed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is MJ... MJ-12 was, a, was an, a, 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 as I understand, it's a military apparatus consisting of a, of a hardware and a cover-up mode. Primary operations, hardware operations on one side, science, the other side, cover-up of everything related. Grand scale, whatever's required. Books, films, you name it. Anyway. Physicists. Anything. The uh, you know it's interesting because we're we're talking about Kennedy's assassination. You're basically saying that he was assassinated because he was going to release information that confirming the, um, the UFO yeah, he's uh, gonna, technology. Yeah, and he was going to do a reproach mall with Castro too, so he'd get his fucking prison out. And he was he was dumping the Fed. And he was going to open up and sh uh, based on what I was told, he was going to go ahead and they were going to open up and and uh, kill all, and expose the funding of Majestic via the CIA's airlift operations with Majestic to control the Golden Triangle during the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War was nothing but to control all that money that went in about uh, Fifty, I'm told, fifty-four billion something on that order was 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 siphoned off, and it was the the reason for perpetuating the war. Well, let's keep talking. I'm interested in your history here. So, okay. you're you're an eyewitness to history. You're Garrison's head of security. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? And and also being a double agent, do you think he knew? When 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 you're 26 years old, and you, the adrenaline flows like that, and you've got the brains to be able to follow the bouncing ball of what I'm talking about, then you, you know you you it's sort of like you, you can play. You don't realize how good you can play chess till you have forced to play it in the big leagues. You know. So the bottom line was that uh, that uh, once the uh, um, w w once <laughs> you unnerved me. <laughs> yeah, why don't you step off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's having yeah, yeah, yeah. psychic yeah, reactions, reactions to all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Lead the door, lead the door. She's psychic. Lead the door. Psychic. She gets, she gets, she gets crazy. Yeah, she's a. Well, what was that all about? She, she, uh, she, know, she gets into a psychic, so like a trance sort of thing. Go ahead. From your story, go ahead. Yeah, okay. someone must have died connected to what you were doing. She's yeah, she's picking up. She's died. like a medium. So who, who got killed? Who do you know got killed and murdered? She's picking David up. David Ferry got killed and murdered. Uh, Clay Shaw got killed and murdered. You knew uh, all these people, right? Yeah, Dean Andrews got killed and murdered. Um, we're talking about they did it in the open, you know. I mean, it's. Clay Shaw did it. They, they put him. They put him through a fucking trial. Nobody should ever go through. Okay, and then they they castigate the man at the top of his life, and he's a he's a, 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 a quasi closeted homosexual. That's the epitome of New Orleans trade affairs. Okay, and so the, and that agent of the CIA is a natural consequence of being in the job he held. Okay, which is director of the international trade market. So, bottom line, uh, the, the uh, yeah, there was a lot of death around that. There was a lot of bad news. Uh, there was a lot of uh, history. I, I fired back when Garrison attacked me. Him and him and Hefner attacked me with the Playboy piece they did in the Playboy interview of Garrison, and he's fucking throwing hand grenades at me for being a CIA man. I'm saying, ain't true, motherfucker. Ain't true. Ain't true, really ain't true. So he didn't pay attention. I kept telling him to stop it, and so I went and sued him in federal court, and I got Jack Ruby's appellate attorney, wow. Elmer Gertz, to represent me to sue Garrison and Playboy. Wow. And they had to run, and they ran to Arthur Goldberg's law firm, uh, and had them 
defend them. We went all the way to Supremes on that little town. But Hoover demanded in the middle of the case that I dismiss the lawsuit against Garrison. And I sent back a message to him <laughs> that was not very well taken. I just, you know, at that point I already had, I had enough on him to bury him. So we were, you know, we knew about him and the, the, pulling around with the kids and, you know, all that shit. What was your personal... Uh, Kennedy, you know. He, he, so... You, you can't know. kill the President of the United States and get away with it unless you're the FBI and it's going to do the investigation because nobody else has got jurisdiction. Wow. What proof do you have of that? Why? Well, it's fucking law itself is the proof. Well, you're working for the State Department. No. No, I was working for the White House. You were the White House. Yeah, but I sold my... I, I sold my pitch to the State Department that got me to the White House. Interesting. The, um, you know, Garrison and you, now what, what can you share with us? You know, let's pretend we don't know as much as these guys and it's the average viewer. And when someone encounters you, what information can you share with us do you think that really needs to get into the public that you personally saw and why? I see it every day. We're in a we're we're living in a quasi-fascist uh, uh, psyops police state today. I mean, and most of the shit that goes on and the corruption in business has reached such a level it's ridiculous. I mean, the politicians are bought and paid for. The uh, the 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 way the economies are pitched to constantly increase debt on the developing nations is nothing short of fucking you know, treason is by what standard? Who's treason? You know, that's the problem. Who's none dare call it treason, but um, or none dare call it conspiracy even. But the bottom line is, is that the world's run by e by a clack of evil people. Well, but I want to get back to the you know you were there for the Kennedy assassination. You knew Garrison. You worked in the Johnson White House. What information can you share with us that you personally saw? that you think is important, whether it relates to the use of water grade techniques by our government that you may have participated in, the cover-up of UFO technology, which you allude to as the real reason Kennedy was killed. You know, bring me back. What did you see? What did you hear? What would you want to record on tape right now, personally? Well, case? I mean, that, that, that's one statement, but I mean, there were other issues on the Kennedy thing. Kennedy had pissed him off. I mean, he pissed him off a good... Bobby uh, was turned loose by John to attack the mob after the mob delivered him the fucking election from here, really and truly. Right. Sure. And on the one side, and the other side was that the uh, that the, the actual votes that the mob brought, the the, the party, the force, the money, da 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 da. da. Um, Kennedy owed his existence. And Bobby owed his job to the fact that there well, was. Well, we all know that. And I'm just wondering what you what you. Well, don't you think that maybe if I brokered that you know, kind of deal and you double crossed me, I might want to fucking kill you? Yeah. I, that's why I think this UFO thing. I always thought the mob did kill uh, Kennedy. I'm okay. I thought the mob did kill Kennedy. Well, thinking. yeah. I mean, they 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 were the soldiers for the FBI. So tell me, so you worked for Garrison. Uh, were you a good spy? Were you rewarded? No, I wasn't rewarded. I was indicted. <laughs> indicted? Tell me about that. I was I don't indicted know. for uh, as the most important material witness in the assassination of the president because I had double-crossed my boss and got caught at it. How did you double-cross your boss? I saw the picture, or at least that's the one thing he caught me at, but uh, was, uh, I, I, I saw the picture of a, of a milk truck that had allegedly picked up all these munitions at this Homer bunker where I allegedly robbed this bunker where it had all these CIA explosives in it with all the little time bombs and all the cutie stuff. Okay, for that we were using for Jerron Bay. So yeah, you mean for Cuba. Yeah, for the Cuban yeah. I did. I did do a deed for CIA having to do with moving all this shit, these munitions. You did. Yeah. And now, and what did you do? Tell us. They have papers. Yeah, I did. what I did is I did what I was asked to do. Would you please give us a fucking 
pair of bolt cutters are a key to that ball because we want to pick up our shed. And the other boys have got the key and we'd like a little help if you, <laughs> since you're the owner of this drag strip that has these munitions bunkers on it. And So you got a key? Yeah, but I mean, I never told them what the key was. You don't think I was going to tell them what the key, whether the key was a boat cutter or a fucking regular key. It didn't make any difference, did it? Think about it. So okay. the, the, you assisted the CIA in acquiring some explosives? Yeah, yeah. I assisted the one arm of the CIA acquiring explosives from another arm oh, of the CIA yeah. that didn't want to play. Well, you so, were with Angleton at that point? Yeah. yeah. You were with... James Jesus. Angleton. Jesus and Colby. And Colby. And, and Colleen. And Colleen. Barry, do not forget the name Lucian Colby. Okay, wait. Stop a minute. Wait. What? Get some more tape. No, 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 no. I may have stopped tape on something. Huh? Who cares? You have, what? I hope not. But, um, so, you know, we're, uh, the, um, it's, it's interesting that you were, uh, Indicted. What was the official indictment? Uh, and were you convicted? I know the, the the charge was material witness in the assassination. But the this president. is later. This is years no, later. No, this is at the very beginning when Garrison comes out of the gate. He throws that charge at me. Yeah, this is like sixty-seven. Material, yeah, six, 66, sixty-six. Yeah, sixty-seven, sixty-six. Yeah. Sixty-eight. Did you have what information, and you gave it to who? I gave it to NBC News and the CIA. Fucking hey. In, in this particular... And the White House, and the White House, all of them. I when I when I dumped on Garrison, I caught him dead at it. You know, I caught him solid as you can get. Got caught, faked. He was he was up to faking photo, faking fingerprints. <laughs> that ain't considered fakeable. And uh, who was he? But we do it well. Who was he working for? Who? Who was Garrison faking the stuff? No, Garrison was just, Garrison wasn't the big king of the world. He just wanted a good, clean case. He just wanted to win the case and overthrow the political system of the United States of America in the process. Become a nominee and a rifle in to Vice President of the United States, which he could have been. He would have won, and he could have won. Somebody don't throw that bowling ball down every one of his alleys. He wasn't expecting it. Come. And you threw those bowling balls. Yes, indeed. Um, I, I I stand guilty on my. Honor. How much did you make from NBC for that stuff? I don't know, fifty grand. Hundred fifty thousand. Fifty. Fifty. That's not bad. Fifty. Yeah, it wasn't bad money. And what did you provide them actually? What were the materials? The, I had all the places where I knew the case was bogus because I'm the one who created it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm the guy who told him the tale that he went to the post with. That's what we call that. Really? Yeah, I'm the one who convinced him as a fucking conspiracy. Hey, can we switch gears, Gordon? Yeah, I want to yeah, right. find out how you got interested in the topic of UFOs and uh, starship technology. Real. All that, but. So he knows. So, the, 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 and Paul Paul Murat from the Defense Intelligence Agency is very interested in this Vortex thing. I know that he, he's a UFO guy at BIA. I what we what we really wanted you to yeah. do was to be the first physicist who ever put two physics theories together at the same time to accomplish the same ends, but with completely different methodology. Well, we'll see. That may be happening. We'll soon, we'll soon know. Yeah. Well, you, you, you know, the, the, the only person I know that's got a rig concept to go into the point of assembly, that, that, I mean, really close now, Jack, is me. Yeah, do you have Me where, and the RAM group. And where, where I count you a member where, of the RAM group. Where and what is, is the RAM group again? RAM group is, is, a, is what I call the, the Knights Temporal. I created a nonprofit organization of guys that I considered super minds that were tied in one way, shape, form, or another to UFO, and that they constituted not only super minds, but also a super political organization with lots of clout in high places if push comes to show. I mean, let's go to court. And uh, uh, so my the dream team got assembled over time guys like put off and, and and others have come aboard and they said shit 
we don't have to agree with the theory, but we have a problem with the fucking evidence. The evidence is really good. It's empirical and stuff to ask. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the evidence is there. No question. Yeah, the evidence is hard. much evidence is there's there. A lot of evidence. Yeah. More yeah. evidence. Now, yeah. how in the final analysis does it really work? We're still on. We're st- we're, we're at the point where. The evidence, it, 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 and I, I've told Jack this, and, and I'm not encroaching on his, on his, on his, we'll call it his, 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 his areas of physics, but we believe that the empirical evidence from the hardware of Uncle and the hardware of E.T. and the photographic evidence leads one to the conclusion that these birds or an electrostatic, electromagnetic field effect caused by the charge and discharge of this circuit, very rapidly, I might add it, very high voltages. And that this circuit dampens or counters the force that causes gravity, which is a, a, an imaginary godlike, only could God could think, of, of being able to superimpose architectures above architectures, okay? So that he could put electrostatic and electromagnetic theory together to, in such a way as to cause the the uh, denigration, or we'll call it the declination of time, which at the same time causes the declination of mass. So there's a circuit that seems to be able to form and do that function, which is the RAM circuit, which we borrowed from Uncle, but Gordon didn't invent a thing. He just figured out the puzzle. Okay, the Uncle means what, black ops? It means majestic. majestic. It means O&R back in the 60s, and that transfer went to Majestic to, in the late 60s via Kissinger to, to the Bilderbergers. That's what I believe. Where where is that uh, diagram? Where is the all those pu- the thing you showed me yesterday? Is it in the car? Is it here? Uh, it's in the car. Oh, Wh- which diagram? The, you know. the diagram of the rig or yeah, the rig. Yeah. Too bad we don't have that here now. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to go get that. No, that's okay, yeah. Gordon. Maybe relax. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Relax. Yeah, make sure it's here but tomorrow. Y- but the, the 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 rig design, Jack. The empirical evidence there is just what know, what powers the rig? What powers the rig? Plates, what huh? powers the rig in this case? What's what the power? what's the power source? N- nothing. <laughs> so it's like a it's a it's it's a it's like it's a vacuum it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vacuum energy battery or something or no, what, what? No, little motors. Logic dictates that if you have an electric motor sitting operating on magnetic bearings spinning inside of a vacuum encasement and that it, and you remove the phenomenology of gravity from the hardware then what you're going to have is something that will have no resistance to spinning indefinitely once torqued up and moreover will will negate gravity by negating what we believe to be our virtual electrons going down a spiral coil that ain't moving that are exerting the repulsive force of electrons. Now that in the sum and substance is what the evidence indicates, not what Gordon is thinking. I ain't a fucking physicist. I can't count past 10 without taking my shoes off, Jack but I am a damn good detective and you know it. So once you put that empirical evidence, you say, well, now let's have a jury of our peers and let's call the peers Putoff, Froning, Holt, Pessis, Pandolfi, um, who, who, Ulig. Uh, there must be two or three that, I have, uh, that I've overlooked, but let's just say that that's the peer review group. They believe that the evidence is real. So do I. I can't the evidence it. is real. I don't agree with the theory. Yeah, but <laughs> the, the, evidence, the, theory. the evidence of the circuit dictates a certain theory. Must All right. The main thing is what? Hey, the main thing is uh, let's just call him. Uh, uh, let's call him the hawk. Let's call him the hawk. Let's mention the full name. Okay. If the hawk thinks that he that this rig will work, it probably will. He's the expert in this, not me. Okay. Right. So it depends. You get the hawk to. But, you know, to build the damn thing. It's, I agree, you heard from NASA told you, right? That, I, that I the hawk always, can do it if it can be done. I, I have always argued with you 
and I don't know why you don't do what I'm going to suggest because I am I do not have an NIH factor. I don't give a shit what flies. I want free energy. I want it now. Okay. Well, That's, we all want that. Uh, no, no, no. We but we're going to get it. But, but we got a plan to get a. That, that, I mean, really 